the government of St. Lucia has resuscitated the proposed Grand Hyatt Hotel project earmarked for construction in Sabusha Choiselle. The Hyatt brand is among the most recognizable luxury resort brands in the world. TTS Resorts Limited is spearheading Hyatt's entry into St. Lucia. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, together with Tourism and Investment Minister Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, on July 20th, signed a framework agreement with representatives of TTS Resorts Limited. Over the course of the construction phases and completion of the project, hundreds of new jobs will be created in addition to other economic spin-offs that will directly benefit businesses in Choiselle and St. Lucia's South. I want to thank you for showing the confidence in, in St. Lucia. You will be allowed free reign to run your business. All what the government will do is the government will ensure that the people of St. Lucia are not disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. But you, because we want an investment, we want the investor to have a fair return, we want the worker to get a fair wage, and we want the country to benefit. That, that is all we ask for. We ask for nothing more. So I look forward to, to the, the real opening of, of the resort. The initial development terms, according to Honorable Dr. Hilaire, have been renegotiated. The tourism minister went on to explain TTS Resorts Limited is also open to exploring opportunities to complement the recently enacted Community Tourism Bill. We commenced discussion with the, the developers and shared our thoughts with them on how some of the outstanding issues that exist can be resolved and to make way for us to, to move forward. There were issues with the construction of the bypass road. Um, at that, in the last engagement, the suggestion was that the government of St. Lucia would have paid for the construction of the bypass road. In renegotiating the arrangements, the developers have agreed that they will provide the financing for the construction of the bypass road, and we are deeply grateful to them for, for that um, acceptance. Of course, you would recognize the tremendous financial difficulties that we face at this time. So it's a major concession on their part and showed their commitment to St. Lucia as a destination and the willingness to work with us. There were outstanding issues with the rental rates for the Queen's Chain and we were able to, to again come to an agreement where I believe both parties benefit from the arrangement that, uh, the arrangement that are put in place. We had extensive discussions on our plans for community tourism and how the resort can better link with the community of Strozel, which as we all know has tremendous potential for community tourism. And I think in speaking to the developers, they were super excited by how they can work with us to enhance Strozel as a community tourism destination. Chief Executive Officer of TTS Resorts Limited, Mr. Lachesa Tolarov, says he is looking forward to investing in Choiselle and bringing a globally renowned brand to St. Lucia. Uh, I'm very happy that we finally managed to find a good compromise uh, uh, on how to proceed. Uh, it is uh, our policy as a company. Uh, it has always been. We do the same things everywhere we work. Uh, uh, we are grateful to the community uh, where we have our properties because it is actually the community that has let us uh, do business. Uh, so uh, we always insist on uh, working together and uh, it has always been our policy of trying to give back to the community uh, for, for the support that uh, we will need because regardless, I mean, uh, a hotel uh, is a living organism, uh, uh, hospitality is something that, uh, that needs the people uh, around uh, uh, the, the resort uh, to be supportive in order to provide uh, the best of the quality for the, for the client. The 345-room luxury Grand Hyatt Hotel is expected to open in 2025 and signifies Hyatt's continued brand growth into the Caribbean's leading travel destinations. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.